right, so I'm going to do a small set of videos on the capsicum flexuosum, and I'm going to stitch them together in the end. So I figured I'd give you a look at it now while it's in this stage, and then once it gets to the point where it starts making fruit and ripening, and, and it gets bigger, obviously. It's going to get bigger because it's already putting up a new shoot here, and so that's going to grow tall and get big. And this part here is from last year, so this is probably going to wither away while the rest of the plant puts up a new shoot. So we'll figure to give you a look at it early while it's got some flowers. So let's take a look at the flowers. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Okay, that's the type of flower it is for this one. Now there are two types of capsicum flexuosum. There's one that has a purplish flower and then there's this one. And one makes like an orangish type of berry, orange red type berry, and one makes a very deep red type of uh, berry or pepper, if you will. So this one's not the purple one, but there are two variations of capsicum flexuosum that I know of. I'll try to post images of it as I'm doing this video, and I'll show you the two different variations of the, of the flower. So that way you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But the only way to get this literature is from archives. And uh, you got to pay for that. So it's not available to the general public for whatever reason. Yeah, so here it is. That's the flower. This is what it looks like, you know, as it's... You can see all the little things coming off it. Hundreds upon hundreds of them. I mean, this thing is literally flowering like crazy. Here's one that broke. A flower that broke off. That's one of the flowers. That's what it looks like before it, it pops. And uh, here's a look at the leaf. You can see it's sort of a very narrow leaf. And the leaves are kind of strange in texture. They're kind of like, when they, when they mature, they get very waxy and rigid-like to it. It's not soft like a pepper leaf. When they're young like this, they're soft. But when they get older, the leaves get very coarse and, and almost feel like plastic leaves. I don't know any other way to put it. But this plant's roughly about maybe two feet tall right now. But I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot bigger. As you can see, the stem goes all the way up to around here. And this is just going to keep going. It looks like it's split off already at the top. So it's probably going to branch out and start getting wider. So I'm not worried about growing this too close to the other peppers because this one's really not a very densely leafed type of plant. So it's not going to take up all the sunlight. So I can grow this among the other pepper plants without worrying about it overshading the other ones. Now another thing I noticed about this plant is that the leaves tend to get a very... Uh, you see how they come right off? They, they start to turn like brown like that and then copper off and then fall fall right off. This isn't because it's sick. This is simply because of the sunlight. It doesn't really like direct sunlight, this plant, apparently. So if, if I move it into a more of a shadier area or less sun or only partial uh, sun in the evening, it doesn't seem to be doing that with the leaves. Now, the newer leaves that are coming off, they seem to be fine. Uh, they're not really doing that at all. But all the older foliage is so sensitive that it just bronzes and then falls off. So that's one strange aspect about this particular variety of pepper that I've noticed. And here's the top look at the top of the, the flower. That's a, This is looking down at it. Okay, that's looking at the top of it. So it has that color on both sides of it. So, yeah, it's a pretty interesting plant. I'm pretty sure we're going to get fruit off it this year. I don't know if we will or not, though, for sure, because you don't know. It could do a, a fruit drop, and nothing will come out of it. But with the amount of flowers that are coming out of this thing, I mean, there's got to be a couple hundred on here right now, and this one's starting to put them out now. So the, the new stem is starting to put them out. So I'm not sure. Uh, you know, if it puts out fruit, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to review it. If not, you know. But some of these did flower and drop the flowers already. So they're actually turning to fruit at this point. But they're so small, you can't tell. It, they start off small, and I guess they slowly grow. We'll see. I'll give you updates as we go. And like I said, um, 
uh, what I'll do is uh, eventually I'll stitch all these videos together into one video and then that way in the end you have one video to watch rather than ten but for now I'm just gonna put them out in small segments and uh, just give you an idea on what's going on with the capsicum fletchuosum alright so don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care